Hello, welcome to this video on measures of variability. Measures of variability are used to describe the amount of variability or spread in a data set. In this video, we will cover the most widely used measures of variability, such as range, the interquartile range, IQR, semi-interquartile range, SIQR, variance, standard deviation, and coefficient of variation. Let us first understand the range as a measure of variation. Range is the difference between the largest and the smallest observations. Let us consider an example to understand what range is. In a data series of numbers 10, 14, and 20, the smallest number is 10 and the largest number is 20. So the range is 20 minus 10 equals to 10. We will now talk about the concepts of IQR and SIQR. IQR stands for interquartile range. It is also known as mid-spread, that is, spread in the middle 50%. Difference between the first and third quartile. SIQR stands for semi-interquartile range, SIQR, which is half of IQR. Let us now look at the important concept which is called variance. It is an important measure of variation which is used to determine variation of data points around the mean. For any data average deviation from mean zero, hence variance is defined as average squared deviation from mean. Depending on data series either coming from the sample or population, we can have sample and population variance. It is important to know the difference between population and sample variance. Population variance measures deviation from population mean, mu. Sample variance measures deviation from sample mean, x bar. Mathematically, both are computed in the same way. However, if the data represents the sample, then it is divided by n minus one, whereas if the data represents population, then it is divided by n only. Now we will talk about standard deviation. Standard deviation measures the spread or dispersion of a data series. It is simply the square root of variance. It has the same units as the original data. We will understand standard deviation with an example while completing the simulation, learn how to compute univariate basic numeric descriptive statistics. Let us now talk about coefficient of variation. Coefficient of variation, or CV, is a measure of relative variation. It is represented in percentage. It represents variation relative to mean in the data. It is used to compare two or more sets of data measured in different units. This measure is sensitive to outliers or extreme values present in the data. Coefficient of variation is equal to standard deviation divided by the population mean times 100%. Let's take an example. A company has sections A and B with 20 and 30 employees respectively. Their average weekly wages are $550 and $200. The standard deviations are 7 and 9. Which section represents larger variability in wages against larger wage bill? Solution. Total wage bill for section A with 20 employees is equal to 20 times 550 equals to 11,000. Wage bill for section B is equal to 30 times 200 equals to 6,000. Section A is larger in wage bill. Coefficient of variance for section A is equal to 7 divided by 550 times 100 equals to 1.27%. Coefficient of variance for section B is equal to 9 divided by 200 times 100 equals to 4.5%. Section A is more consistent, so there is greater variability in the wages of section B. Just to recapitulate, in this video we learned the concepts about range, IQR, SIQR, variance, and standard deviation. In the next video, we will be explaining the basic measures of bivariate analysis. Thanks for watching the video. We will see you in the next video.